How's it going guys, and this is MASH, welcome to Let's Play Mega Man 3 Part 3, anyway we are now going to be going to Magnet Man stage, and Magnet Man stage is for the most part not a pain in the butt at all, um, like I said in the previous episode, I suck really bad at dealing with him as a boss, just because I can't beat him with the Mega Buster, he's simple but it just... Whatever pattern people say that he has, I, I don't see it. I don't see it. He just jumps around, and I suck at timing it, and I just get my ass beat. Pretty much every time. So I just wait till I get his power. And oh, what's that? Ah, it's our faux break man. And, and like last time, he's still kind of stupid. Still very stupid. I mean, we're, we're shooting him in the back. This is just. He's gotta not be trying. He just whoa, we just fell. But yeah, Magnum Man is He's a ton of he's a tough son of a bitch to me at least. But anyway, Magnet Man. He's a powerful robot that has pow as magnetic power. Though he is a robot, he's addicted to magnetic therapy. Good point, he has good management ability. Uh bad point, he has bad direction. He likes massages, and he dislikes floppy disks. Yeah, I, I guess since you know he's a magnet and all. But yeah. Now, as you can see there, we actually um we skipped pretty much all that junk right there because of Rush Jet. Rush Jet is completely usable. Well, oh no, we're not even there yet. What the heck am I talking about? I was looking at the CD and I forgot that we were at the area. We weren't at the area yet, but pretty much in this area, as you can see, we're using um we're dealing with those little bastard blocks. Oh, it was because I saw the turbines. Those turbines will suck you forward, closer to you, closer to the, closer to it. So it's kind of a pain in the ass when you're in that section. But with Rush Jet, this area becomes pretty damn simple. And another little thing about Rush Jet is that you can actually um, conserve energy by jumping off of him while you're still moving. Rush Jet will still continue following you, and you won't lose any energy. Well, you'll still lose it when you land on it, but. It doesn't use energy unless you are on rush, so it's it's kind of you. It's kind of good to continue jumping up and down so you can conserve energy a little bit more. But yeah, we're already at Magnum Man stage, and like I said, it's pretty simple. Magnum Man will jump in the air like twice, and he'll sometimes um, try to pull us in, and that'll damage us. But just keep sliding and moving the opposite way, and you can pretty much avoid it, not like I did. And he will shoot um, three magnets like that, but you can dodge him by pretty much sliding. But like I said, I suck at I suck at dealing with his fucking jumps and just spark shot spark shot just makes it so much easier and I love it. But anyway, we have gotten Magnet Man's weapon, which is the magnet beam, if I recall. No, it's the magnet missile. I am horribly. I'm, I'm recording this late at night after work, guys. I'm tired. But a uh, magnet missile will shoot out the magnets, sort of like what he shot at us. But they will track the opponent, so you sh even though you shoot it and it's like below him, it'll turn and go up and actually hit them. It's it's a pretty good weapon at times. At times, they take out those little pajama parachute guys that we dealt with in the last episode. One hit, they're it's pretty fucking awesome. But anyway, we are now at hard man stage, and these bees were kind of reminiscent of like the the birds in the second game, but, because, I mean, they have a really good drop rate most of the time, but they made it a lot more pain in the ass that you're, you're going to get hit by them because of the way that they're, they're coming at you, but not really much of a problem, and don't stand too far, too long on those green panels because you'll see, like, it did those little um, alligator, I guess, things come out, and I don't know if they'll kill you, but they hurt. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they hurt. Either they hurt or they kill, but I don't think they would kill, but you never know. It's a Mega Man game. I don't know why I shot Needle Shot at it. I was, I was being retarded, honestly. I was probably not paying attention to the color I was. But anyway, Hard Man. Hard Man is a robot made of ceramic titanium. He weighs almost three tons. That is a heavy bastard. Good point is, he's a hard nut to crack. Bad point, Lazy Bones. He likes sumo wrestling, and he just likes swimming. Uh, I, I wouldn't like swimming too if I was that fucking fat. 
But as you can see, this area, this area kind of reminds me a lot of like Gutsman stage from the first game. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's like it's construction. It looks like somewhat like the construction cave areas that we were in in Mega Man One, but it's not really hard. It's pretty damn simple. As and it's not like we're even that far into the game yet. Honestly, like, like I don't, I was trying to think of what to talk about, but it's like we're 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 not even done with, not even close to getting to Wily's castle after this. We actually still got more to do. And honestly, I like it that they did what they did here. But you, you'll know what I'm talking about in a few minutes. But for right now. We still got a long way to go, even after we've beaten all these eight robot masters. And I don't know. I like this game. I, I like the game until the ending. The, the, the this game is stupid fun, and it's very challenging with the bosses, which kind of made up for Mega Man 2's stupid bosses and stupid hard level at the end. And also, as you can see, we're dealing with Proto Man. He's kind of hard to fight here because there's, you know, platforms now, so you'll still get hit. That this is not like you can just slide under him. It's that's actually the hardest boss fight with Proto Man. Oh shit! I just said his name. Ah! Spoilers! You didn't heal it, hear it. You know what? No. When I, well, I'm gonna bleep out his name. I'm gonna bleep out his fucking name. You're not gonna hear what I said. Haha. <laughs> but yeah. Still got a lot more to do in this game. Still got a lot. And we still have three E tanks, like. Oh god. But anyway, Hard Man. Hard Man will shoot his arms at us and then jump into the air and land on the ground and stun us even if we're off the ground, so it's just it just freezes us to freeze us and Yeah, I died. Not even I die, we have hardly any magnet missile, so. I gotta beat him my normal way. I, I I never really fuck up that much when I'm dealing with hard man, but apparently here I was just sucking real bad. I blame the LP curse, but pretty much now I have to just keep shooting him with the mag with um the Mega Buster, which he's not that bad. He honestly isn't that bad. As long as you just shoot him and you can get a nice little pattern with his um his little rocket fist, you'll be able to deal with him in no time. I think Hardman would be an actually a good a good first boss to go up against. If if you don't know the pattern, I'm I'm think people would have not that much of a hard time with Hardman, which is kind of funny. Like it's, it, it's it's just a long-winded match when you don't have magnet missile. And yeah, I had to use a life there, which kind of was a bummer, but it's not gonna really matter, cause Wally Castle in this game is a lot simpler than it was in Mega Man 2 or 1. A lot simpler, especially with E tanks. But anyway, we have beaten Hard Man and we have gotten his hard. I think it's yep, hard knuckle. The hard knuckle is kind of it's okay of a weapon, but it's a slow startup. Like when you start it, it'll it'll be there, but it won't launch for like a second. So. If you want to use it, you have to be very precise, you know the timing of things that you're going to use it for, and for the most part, time it oh, a second ahead of time. Yeah. I really don't know, guys. I am, I am really, really tired right now. But anyway, as you can see, there are four, um, four new, they're all the same picture, but four new um, pictures took place of where the robot masters were. That is because we are now dealing with something called the Doc Robot. It's actually called in Japan, uh, let me look this up right here, I know I have this up here. It's actually called Dokuro Boto. I'm guessing that's how it's said in Japanese, but it's it was a mistranslation made on um, part of um, Capcom America. And it was actually um meant to be two words at once. Um you don't see it in the in the picture itself but if you see the character when you see when you do see it, it its face looks like a skull and Dokuro is um, Japanese for skull and Roboto is robot robot so pretty much it's supposed to be skull robot but since it got lost in translation it became doc robot 
And Doc Robot is kind of weird in the sense that it is pretty much all the Mega Men that we... Not, what the hell did I say? Mega Men? I'm an idiot. It's pretty much we're going to be fighting all the eight Robot Masters from Mega Man 2 now. And they're a lot harder, and they're a lot stupider, but for the most part are still freaking easy. And they have a new um, weakness chart due to all the weapons that we've gotten in this game. It's just... We're dealing with, we're pretty much dealing with 16 Robot Masters at once, guys. It's, yeah. But anyway, we have made it to the first Robot Master, who is Metal Man. Now you'll see Metal Man just float down into the inside Doc Robot, and he will start doing what Metal Man did in the last game. I mean, they pretty much do the same thing they did in the, in the original game. It was just, it's a little bit faster, honestly. <laughs> Honestly, it's a lot easier dealing with Metal Man without a freaking conveyor belt. And as you can see, he was weak against um, the Magnet Missile. Now be very careful here because I have died a million and one times here, so you gotta be really careful and be precise because as you see, I almost hit a spike. That would have not been good. And what, what sucks about these Doc Robot stages is... There is no, like, halfway point. Like, if, if I died against Metal Man, I would start at the beginning of the stage. The, the checkpoint is after beating the first Robot Master. So, it's kind of lame in that sense that you can end up... You can die on something stupid and you'll have to start all over again, and... I don't know, I, I feel like if I'm at the Robot Master stage, especially since you give me that little moment where there's a middle stage... I should be able to not have to go through that entire level again. And some of these levels can be a pain in the ass. As you'll see in the next episode. Because I know I'll make it by the next episode, I'm pretty sure. And there's one part with, that we're going to have to deal with Rush Jet. And it's just so tedious. So tedious if I die. Because it's just... Stuff doesn't charge back. But anyway, we are now dealing with Quick Man. Quick Man version of Doc Robot is kind of a pain in the ass in the sense that the it'll constantly keep throwing boomerangs at us and the boomerangs are damn near impossible to really dodge. But he's weak against Search Snake, so just keep spamming the shell search search snake. Being careful because you know you can only shoot four search snake is What the hell is wrong with me today? Four search snakes at the same time. Oh wow, I actually did have a, uh, what, the, what, the, what is this? Like, so there, there is actually a, a second, I'm an idiot. Apparently there is a, a checkpoint for the second Robot Master. I've just realized this myself, I'm kind of embarrassed. We really have, we have no lives left, so we, yeah, that was a good, good move on my part. But yeah, this, this is just a pain in the ass with Search Snake because of how, how lame it is that you have to shoot it in that little, it comes out in that little angle, and it's just a pain in the butt to deal with it. But we've done it. We've beaten the first two Doc Robots, Metal Man and Quick Man. And we're not going to gain their abilities because it's, he's, they're being emulated through Doc Robots, so. Well, the Doc Robots. But anyway, guys, this is it for this episode. We're running out of time. As always, if you did like this episode, please like, share, and subscribe. The next episode, we'll be going into Needleman stage. And as always, guys, this is MASH, and thank you for watching.